Hello and welcome to Friday's ESPN FC Live. Mark Donaldson here, delighted to be joined by Stevie Nichol, by Dallin Cuff and by Rob Dawson. So many games this weekend, we're going to pick two to look ahead to. Probably the biggest two weekend games this coming up. We've got the Barcelona Real Madrid Classico. First of all, we're going to talk Manchester Derby. And before we get the thoughts of our guests, let's hear from Pep Guardiola talking about what Old Trafford might have in store for City. No, Old Trafford was when I was in Barcelona by Munich and I traveled to to England to play against United Old Trafford was a special. Special scenario, special place and of course he is a special for for our fans, for all of us, but at the end it's a football game. It's not like a FA Cup final or in the last fixtures of the of the season, like winning or losing, can define winning or not the Premier League. Still, is the nine fixture, so 87 points to play. So it's not a game. You have to be focused. What do you have to do to beat them? Okay, so the last time Pep took his City side to Old Trafford, Rob, they lost by two goals to one despite taking the lead back in January. Now, both the Manchester City and Manchester United press conferences were at the same time this morning. You went to see Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United. What did he have to say? Yeah, I mean, um, Eric Ten Hag is obviously talking about the Manchester derby as, as being, you know, one of globally one of the biggest games um, of the weekend. You know, not just the eyes of Manchester on it, but the eyes of the world. Really, it's, it's that big an occasion. Um, he, he did have some injury news to report as well. That we, we expected Casemiro to be fit for the derby. He missed the game at Sheffield United with an ankle problem. He picked up playing for Brazil. He, he missed the Copenhagen game because he was suspended. But we were expecting Casemiro to be fit for the derby. But Ten Hag was a little bit more pessimistic than that and said that it's going to be a race against the clock now. Um, if he's going to be fit, he said he's not 100%. They're obviously going to train again um, on Saturday and, and they'll see how he is. But if, if they were to be without Casemiro, it's going to make a, a tough task um, even tougher. Stevie, City going to United. We'll get Dallin's thoughts in a second on what the bookies think about this one, but they're going as favourites. Do you expect them to make amends for that defeat that they suffered back in January? A hundred percent. I mean, other other than blind faith and gut instinct and the fact that it is a derby, there is nothing that points towards a Manchester United victory, even though it is a, a Old Trafford. So, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're going to analyse both sides, the way they're playing... If you're going to analyse both teams individually, on paper, I mean, every which way you look at this game, there, there really should be only be one outcome, mm. and that's a City victory. But the problem is, United over the last couple of years, uh, including that, that defeat of, on City in January, they also did it to Liverpool. Like the yep. season before, Liverpool, as big a favourites as City are going into this, come away with, uh, with a loss. So, as I said, you can't rationalise this game and come up with a reason why Manchester United are going to win it. You just can't. Dallin, I remember previewing that uh, Manchester derby back in January and, and we, we basically echoed everything that Stevie had said. Don't see how United can win this one. City, big favourites for it. United, huge underdogs. Yet United won it. What have the bookies got to say this time, the odds makers ahead of this one? <laughs> Well, City's even bigger favorites and uh, United's even bigger underdogs. United is plus 425. So for folks that don't bet much, understand that means if you bet $100, you can win 425 bucks. They are by far the biggest home underdog of the weekend. I think Palace is also a plus 370. Conversely, City is minus 155, which means you have to bet $155 to win 100 bucks. And really, I think what the, the bookies are telling us is, yes, we know cities are favorites, but last year in January, I don't think Manchester United was not in the same situation now. It feels like they are in crisis mode across every stratosphere, whether it be in the boardroom with, with the sale of the club or part of the part of the club, obviously Ten Hag and different players, and then the actual form of different players. So there's just so many issues across the board. And while City has gone through a bit of their wobble, I think you can put to, point to Rodri being out and some other issues with some guys maybe not playing at their full level. They lost their two last, last two road games in league play, but I think they know exactly who they are and what they're about. When you look at United in terms of their patterns of play or lack thereof or just their general form, and again, all the, the chaos around the club, it's a very different scenario than it was even last January. And I think that's the numbers reflect that. And let's be real, guys. There's a zero shot on betting either side. I might bet a draw, but there's no value in betting City. And I don't think there's any way in heck United winning the game. So 
Uh, there may be some prop plays to look at and individual goal scorers or things like that, that that could be more interesting. But the actual line of the game is is pretty stark by the bookies' perception. Mm-hmm. 